Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Blue and we today are going to be watching GPS versus Vroom Vroom. And GPS totally rehauled or overhauled their roster. Slaya, the only one who will be returning from that phase one team viral slash GPS lineup. Vroom Vroom. A totally new lineup coming into the PCL from relegation. So looking to prove themselves. That is the French roster. Most of them sticking together through tough times. Uh, during the qualifiers at the beginning of this season's PCL. I know they had a player who broke some fingers. So a little bit of a problem there. We have Slay on the Tinkering Barrack. Lexi on the Ying. Smutney on Atlas. Sibs on Tyra. Sheik on Vivian. Ninja Zen on the Mother's Grace and Nara. LZ Legends on the pip here. Starting things off. They go guard inside. Nice pressure being applied from the side. Pip goes down to Sheik. That's one for the side of GPS. GPS trying to make some good moves here. Lexi Zen back into the Paladin's competitive scene. Haven't seen them since they were in the World Championship Finals. On that Vex squad that ended up losing 3-1 to one to the boys of Elevate. Point control, 27% in favor of Vroom Vroom, the French squad. But GPS battling back and now controlling most of the map as Smutney on the Atlas tries to contain that mid. He will come back. Start to work towards that off lane as well. LZ Legends, for those of you who don't know, hasn't played in the PCL since Season 1. The inaugural season. That was 2018. It's been a while. Two going down for the side of GPS. And now Vroom Vroom starting to make things happen off the back of the victor being played by Valerian. It, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's the one who broke his fingers for the qualifiers earlier this year. Hope his fingers are all good. They, they seem like they are. Playing the victor. Applying some pressure. 90% to 93% now. Enemy killing spree. Grover Enemy Ultimate, killing the Whirlwind, comes out. Does sustain himself for a little bit. Having to back up now. Is Vroom Vroom as GPS. Capture the first objective here. And now we see the defense being set up here. Back to Sheik we go. Putting a lot of pressure in this off lane. He has Barrack with him. That's Slaya. Slaya did play for Team Viral in the first half of the season. Totally overhauled the team lineup, the roster, as you will, once he gained control and became the captain. Brought in some really decent players. Big Ultimate comes out. Khan throws Slaya off the map. Now Naiju starting to make some plays. Valerian finds another one onto Sibs. When Lexi and Smutney elect to go off the map as Sheik will just let Khan take care of him. And GPS will reset. Coming into this next team fight, Alt Economy in favor of Vroom Vroom still. They have the Barrage. They have the Evil Mojo, the Polymorph. They have Seismic Crash as well. They have Whirlwind now. Meanwhile, for the side of GPS, they have Dome Shield. And I cannot remember the name of Atlas's ultimate right now. <laughs> Getting some damage off. Big ult coming through off the top ropes. They're able to... Pick up Ninja Zen, though, from the back end of Sheik. Sibs goes down once again on that Tyra. And now here comes the ultimate from Smutney. Shoots. Khan shield blocks it. Running out of time. He does find Pip with it, though, so he will be banished for a short while. Barrage coming out for the side of Victor. He lets one go and then puts it away. About 20 seconds remaining in this push now. GPS trying to get this around the corner. If they get this around the corner... It's just going to get a little harder, I think. Vivian does pop the Sentinels, however. She will have that extra damage coming off of her. Six, five, four, three, 
into the back of Khan. She's trying to place it. Shield gets popped. Pip is there. So trying to help this Khan with the Vivian. She's falling pretty low now. Polymorph comes out. That's a double Polymorph. Can they find one? No! Tyra survives! And in doing so, she pops the crossfire. Couldn't get the kills onto the Polymorph. One shot would have done it for the Tyra. Grover falling pretty low. He's going to end up going down. But Vroom Vroom able to defend successfully here as we're tied one to one. But as I was saying, Slayer, he took control of the team. They had to change their name due to some unforeseen circum circumstances uh, with the org releasing the roster. So viral no longer. Created the name GPS, Rock, Paper, Scissors, once the phase ended. Went into that midseason break. And he's come out with some new players. Picking up some really decent players. He's got Sheik from that Radiant squad. I think he did very well in phase one for being a rookie. Not having much competitive experience playing the hit scans. He had a tough go though. Putting up top damage pretty much all the time. Making some decent plays. But when your team loses, you don't really get as much credit for your good job done. Picking up Sibs too. Old 2018 team viral player. Ultimates coming out from the side of everyone. Khan's going to be able to throw Sheik off the map this time. That means the Sentinels will be gone. Naiju doing a good job connecting with the overpowers today. And now Vroom Vroom look to be in total control. Meanwhile, Ninja Zen throws out another ult. This one's from downtown this time. He's able to find one off of that as well. Objective captured in favor. Now, it is Vroom Frooms. It did say GPS. Just a little bit of a snag in the spectator at the current moment. But don't be fooled. That is the red team's payload. And they are on their way to pushing. Whirlwind comes out now. He gets in the face of Pip. Heals up those... Pip! He's trying to get the polymorph out. Slay it now. Goes down. And what a view we have from the Ninja Zen here. Seems as if I might have use for you. spectators going wild today, ladies and gentlemen. Vivian ends up falling. Valerian doing a nice job. If they get another double, I'm dipping. Speaking of Naiju hitting his overpowers and Ninja Zen with these crazy ults. They've been a duo, a tank duo together on the same team for a while at times. Going all the way back to the PCS days, before the PCL. Pretty good tank duo between the two of them. Oh, and Sheik goes down once again. Slayer falls again. One of the problems with Slayer last phase. A lot of deaths. He's trying to make that change and Vroom Vroom. Get a successful push here as they take a commanding lead. 3-1 to one on top of the phase 1 PCL vets. GPS. As I was saying, though, the tank duo, it started to fall apart when Naiju started to join different teams, flex his way to different champs. Wasn't really working out for the best. Not his Ninja Zen as well. Inconsistency started to strike. Stopped playing for a while. Came back for a short stint. Left again. Now he's back. And with Naiju. And both on tank. So... We'll see how that goes for them. Two, one. Three to one now. Alt economy in favor of Vroom Vroom, it may seem, but indeed it is GPS. Now they have three alts. They're close to a Ying alt. Vivian's going to pop the Sentinels. Ninja Zen with another one, but Dome Shield comes out this time to add a little bit of protection around the objective during that ultimate. Oh, and a nice banish from Smutney onto... The victor. Naiju, Ninja Zen, both falling. Looks as if GPS might have control of the map here. Oh, and the temporal divide. The wall, the shield, whatever you may call it. Blocks the overpower. Good play there from Smutney. Speaking of Smutney, long time 
We haven't seen him on a team in the middle of the pack, so to speak. Since last year, actually, when he was on Radiant, second place squad at that time. He joined Cyclone earlier this season. Was able to make it to the mid-season Invitational with them. That team is kind of falling apart over time, slowly. The departure of Harvey was a blow to them. Kings not being able to go to land was a big blow. Westside no longer on the squad, even though he was subbing at MSI for them. Now Smutney's gone, Slopadopoulos has moved on to the PML, and Cyclone having to gain some new players here. I don't know about that setback there. Alt comes out from Valerian on the victor. Crossfire, though. Can't get around the wall. Good wall there by Ninja Zen. He is falling low. He does end up falling. Sibs falls down as well. Take a look at the damage charts with Vivian on top. Victor not too far behind. He's right there. Khan falling pretty low. He's going to get a nice big burst heal from the Grover. Slaya still maintaining some point time here. Although he will get staggered out by the French. That was a good stagger there. Tease. Just now respawning, along with Khan. A lot of staggers coming out from the side of Vroom Vroom right now. GPS trying to push this in, tie the game up here at three apiece. LZ Legends, for those of you who don't know, did play in PCL Season 1, as we said earlier. But, not the hottest of the hottest. Most deaths in the league by uh, a lot, too. About 50 over the person in second place. Push is successful here from GPS. So we're all tied up at 3-3. Three to three. We're going to the final round here. Take a look at the score lines. 3-6 and six for Sibs. Doing a lot of work with the Tyra marks. Not really getting a lot of kills himself here. Smutney, Slaya, 3-6, 3-7. Sheik, the only one on the team. Going positive at 9 and 5, playing the Vivian. 80% on that ultimate as well. They do have their other four ultimates. So they will have things to work with. Meanwhile, five ultimates on the side of Vroom from Valerian. 12 and 1 on the Victor. Playing super well here today. Putting out a lot of damage. A lot of cauterize coming through from both sides here. Resilience being a factor for the side of both teams. Guard inside. Atlas gets picked. He is going to recall himself. Whirlwind will get pulled. Valerian with another alt coming out. Will he find anyone? No. Doesn't look like no one's in his sights. Polymorph comes out. Oh, and Pip's going to fall shortly after. Sheik finds the kill on the LZ Legends. And now Smutney and Slaya pick up a kill as well. 39% on the objective for the side of Vroom Vroom. It's not over yet. They do have a chance to get back into this. They will need to break this zone. Pretty hard to do on small maps, especially Bright Marsh. No full court press, it may seem. Coming from the side of GPS, though. Playing it safe. Smutney. Pretty far up. And the ultimate comes out. Doesn't elect to hit the Inara. She does have Mother's Grace up, so it won't really do anything. Khan with the overpower grabs the Vivian. Gonna elect to back up. She is gonna die. Crossfire comes out for Tyra now. He's gonna fall. Slay is gonna fall. And Valerian, Legends, Craft, all finding a kill each. Smutney trying to sneak his way in. It's 90% on the objective. He's going to have to touch. He does recall. He will get his health back. Anara trying to shut that down. 14-2 and two from Valerian. What a game he's had. Whirlwind comes out once again. He was falling low, but he was able to sustain himself. 93-99% to 99 now. Vroom Vroom. With that 99% and Valerian Ninja Zen 
mowing them down. Vroom, vroom. Take game one. Four to three over GPS. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Game two here on Jaguar Falls between Vroom Vroom and GPS. This is Vroom Vroom's map pick this time as they were able to steal away a win on GPS's map pick of Bright Marsh. So 1-0 led by Vroom Vroom here. LZ Legends on the Drogos this time running Fusilot. Storm of Bullets Khan for Naiju. Eminence Leon for Valerian, Tinkering Barrack for Ninja Zen, Luminary Genos for Craft, and for the side of GPS they have Rampant Blooming Grover for Lexi, Mother's Grace Anara for Slaya, Burst Mode Victor for Sibs, Opportunity and Chaos Vivian for Sheik, and Half Shell Makoa for Smutney. Wrecker coming out for the side of Drogos and Vivian. Only one Cauterize coming for the side of GPS so far, that would be Victor. Others going for Rejuvenate and some Utility. Drogos gonna have maybe a tough time here against the double hit scan pressure of Victor Vivian. As well as being in a room like that on Jag Falls. Can't get caught in that room. Valerian on the Leon this time. As LZ Legends and Naiju fall. Valerian had a really good game one. Pretty much the MVP of that one on the Victor. Going 14 and two overall, I believe was the end scoreline for him. Ooh, nice chunks coming out from Kraft on that, gr or sorry, Lexi Zen on that Grover, excuse me. Kraft played Grover in game one, but here he's on the Genos. 96%, 99%, and that is, now it does save Vroom Vroom again, blue team. It's always going to say that they cap, but it was not them indeed. It was GPS, the red squad, so they will be on the payload push here to start off Jag Falls. Valerian putting out some damage. Sib's able to find Ninja Zen. That will be a pick in favor of GPS now. They're going to try and hit the gas pedal and get something going here. Half Shell Makoa still. Be able to deal with a lot of that damage raining down. And some more point control. Oh, nice overpower from the side of Khan. See you later. Naju says. Some really good overpowers in game one. Help secure them to the victory here as they're going to stagger away Slaya on the Inara. Oh, it's just painful. He's going to go towards the edge and he's going to try and hop off. And they're just going to let him jump off. Does it matter? Still a good stagger nonetheless. Oh, Inara still alive there for a second or two. Was hanging on to the edge of the map. Got stuck on those rocks there. That's going to be an even longer spawn timer and an even longer amount of time. The GPS is not going to be able to push with a full five-man squad here. I don't know if that's counted as Slayer's fault or just unfortunate. Here comes the ultimate. Seismic crash. Oh, nice wall. The block off the Jogos, he does find Smutney though. Meanwhile, Lexi, Sibs both pick up a kill for the side of GPS. 30 seconds remaining. Sentinels are out and Sheik playing the Vivian once again. Putting out a lot of damage onto this barrack now. Trying to finish this push. 20 seconds remaining. He's got Khan in his face on the back side. Shout does come through, so that is the DR from Khan. Sheik trying to pick a target. Craft does have through time and space ready. Hunker down. That's the key. Oh, and Vivian gets thrown off the map by Khan with the grab. Smutney's going to go down. Naiju with a double kill now. Shielding himself. Already used his battle shout. He's got some time. Puts himself in the way of Victor. Pulls the Grover away for a second there. Trying to take care of Sibs, and he will. Valerian able to take down Grover. And that will be a successful defense from the side of Vroom Vroom. Going the same way game one did. One to one here now. Rise. 
Take a look at the damage charts here. Sibs with the victor on top. 0-1 oh for Sheik. Not a lot of action in the slash line for him, but has put out a... Oh, no, excuse me. Bite my tongue. He hasn't put out a good amount of damage at all. Sitting at 6th behind Khan and Barrick as well. Drogo second place above the Leon. A little bit of a surprise there for the amount of pressure he's being dealt. Oh, and that's the overpowered. Doesn't connect. Sips. Naiju's probably scratching his head at that one. Meanwhile, Slaya walks into the room. Sibs able to kill Ninja. Sibs does go down. Drogos able to help him. Here comes the ultimate. He does find one. Onto Sheik. That's a good kill nonetheless from the Drogos. Saying, hey, you know what? You're my counter, but uh, I can hit you with this dragon punch. Fusilot, interesting choice there for the Drogos. Not a lot of people opting to use that. You still see... The combustible here and there, but it's mostly worm jets flying around hitting the skybox. 60% in climbing for the side of GPS on the objective as Vroom Frim is going to have to back off, regroup here. Victor falling one shot. Leon might be able to push this. Sibs trying to regain some health. Oh, and he gets hooked away before he could try and find it. As GPS are able to grab the objective again. Whirlwind comes out to top everyone's health bars off. Ultimate comes out for the side of Inara. Seismic Crash. Sheik able to pick up Naiju off of that. This push is underway here. Inara trying to stay in range of those Grover heals. Remember, it's an AoE heal. Ninja Zen gets hooked and burned. And now Sibs, Smutney, and Slaya pushing up. Getting aggressive here. Good pressure being put on. Pretty much in the spawn doors. Overpower comes out. He is able to grab Sheik. He gets thrown off the map. Naiju's going to trade his life out for it, though. Grover in a little bit of a trouble. Is able to escape it, though. Grogos firing onto these tanks. No shield. Does able to get the escape. Puts the shield up for the rest of his team to back up. Oh, and a nice crippling axe from Lexi onto the Drogos midair there. Not enough to get him out of the air completely, however. Minute 10 remaining in this push. It is 2-1 to one in favor of GPS. And now Makoa is going to look to get aggressive here. He does have the half shell. He does go up. He might back off. Oh, nope. Looks like he's going to try and run this off lane. He's got Sheik there with him. Sheik being able to sit behind that half shell and just fire away now. Oh, the hook doesn't connect from the Makoa. Haven't seen a lot of Smutney Makoa this season as he's been main taken. Here he is playing the flex two position, meaning he'll play some off tanks. Valerian does fall. Slaya able though to find one as well as Sheik. Now Drogos is going to have to back up. Legends. Doesn't want to die here. Gets a lot of damage off with the Fuselade Fire Spit combo. The Salvo. Able to find one. Two low health targets here. He will find another. Valerian and Naiju helping out with those kills as well. Oh, and a double kill. Now, off of Sheik from long distance. This looks like it might be a defense here for the side of Vroom Vroom once again. And it is, of course... A successful defense. 2-2 two two now. Vroom Vroom leading. 1-0 in the set. Vroom Vroom coming from relegations as we said before. But GPS not entirely a, a phase 1 PCL team. Only Slaya remaining from that roster. Capture point spawning in 15 seconds. GPS. Grok, Paper, Scissors. One of the best... Names on any platform for Paladins esports I've heard as of lately. Maybe even five, top four, top ten three, overall all time. Two, one. Top five, top five, baby. My dad cuts my hair and 
Juju's fanboys. Juju's seductive Saris. Still in the top two there for me. Death Star Baguette, another good team name. Here comes the ultimate. Finds Sheik with the Dragon Punch once again. Hook doesn't connect. And now Vroom Vroom look to be in total control as they're going to be able to kill Smutney here. Lexi falling shortly before that. Now, 60% in climbing. GPS are going to have to try and break this zone. Maybe a little difficult here on Jag Falls. They do have five ultimates to use, though. They may need to one. There's one. The whirlwind comes out. Seismic crash onto Drogos. They're able to pick him up off of that. Barrage comes out as well. Valerian does find one onto the support. Oh, they pick up Sheik, but he had to let him go. His teammate next to him fell, leaving him all alone. Oh, and Makoa pops the Ancient Range, just standing there. Doesn't want to overextend. Basically just saying, you want to come over here? You're going to have to deal with me. A lot of damage coming out from the Leon now, being played by Valerian. Oh, Smutney falls. Legends did fall as well for the side of Vroom Vroom. Oh my goodness, Victor lives but that's a kill with the enlightenment he had two nice one-shot targets to shoot at there as well naiju able to find Sheik valerian naiju doing some work here or the side of room from as they're able to capture the payload and now they're on the offense it's money trying to make something work hook doesn't connect once again as I said, we haven't seen a lot of Makoa being played by Smutney this season. As he's been the main tank for Cyclone in Phase 1. Here he is trying to off-tank. May take him a few games to get back into the groove. Another hook right into the shield. Naiju battling this out. Eventually he falls. Sibs in the back line behind Makoa. Providing that damage support. Valerian does fall. Kraft's going to end up backing up alone. Doesn't want to get staggered out. Jogo's still alive on that right side. He's going to try and get around. Actually take a look and see where he's at. Pretty far off the side of the map here. He will make it back, however. Vroom Vroom. Full five-man squad. Going to look to reestablish their offensive prowess. They do have Dragon Punch if they elect to use it. And as I say that, it comes out. Wall comes out, but it's no match for the Inara. He does end up trading out his life, but that's a trade they're willing to give. Drogos for the Inara. Barrage comes out once more. Ninja Zen and Naiju both fall from Sibs and Sheik. They may have one more chance to get into this. It will be close, though. I wouldn't... I wouldn't expect them to want to try and push this. Seismic Crash will be online. Sentinel's online as well. 74% on the Ancient Rage. You have four ultimates for the side of Vroom Vroom. I would let this one go and just try and win that 3-3 battle on the capture objective. They may elect to push this. Hook is good this time. Damage reduction coming through. Is there anyone on point? There is. Slaya battling Naiju. And Ninja Zen. That. Drogos getting some nice fires out. Nara backing up, getting some healing. Now Slaya's gonna move up. And they're gonna elect to back up and just let this one go through. Three to three! Once again, we go to a three three situation between Vroom Vroom and GPS. Game one. Vroom Vroom was able to sneak away with the win there. Take a look at the slash lines here. Where are we at? 10 and 5 for Valerian. Not too bad. Not as good as the game before. 11 and 8 for Naiju. He is positive. 7 and 9 for the Drogos Legends. I think you can credit that to Sheik and Sibs. Both 10 and 6, 10 and 7. One. What a game those two are having there on the hit scans against a 
Rogos. Vivian has moved up in those damage charts a little bit. Dome Shield gets popped from the side of Ninja Zen. Ancient Rage does get popped as well. He's able to find Craft. That's one good pick for the side of GPS. Remember, they had control last game at this stage. They let it get through. Oh, and Naiju tried to get to safety. Didn't help as he went down to the burst of Sibs. Able to dodge. Oh, and Drogos finds another kill. Trades out his life. Lexi with a double kill. Nice hook. He's going to have to use Enlightenment. I think that hit the shield. 99% and counting. Naiju, the only one left. He is going to grab the Grover, but he throws him. Not the best aim there. He was able to survive. Now Kraft's going to touch, but this one's pretty much over as Barrett comes in now. And GPS able to burn the opponents on the objective. No worries about Drogos flying above. They take the victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Game two, or sorry, game three. Game two was won by GPS. So game three, Vroom Vroom's map choice. And the set is all tied up here, one to one now. We're here on Stone Keep. Let's take a look at the legendaries. It'll be Shrapnel Victor for Legends. Hunting Party, Tyra for Valerian. Battering Ram Ash for Naiju. Tinkering Barrack for Ninja Zen and Rampant Blooming Grover for Craft. Storm of Bullets Khan for Smutney. Eminence Leon for Sips. Opportunity and Chaos Vivian for Sheik. Five, four, Luminary three, Genos for two, Lexi Zen. And the Mother's Grace Inara for Slayer with the Master Riding first item. Spicy. Not a lot of people. I think Master Riding is, is kind of underrated. By a lot of players, both casually and pro. A lot of action going on already here in the keep. No kills until I say it. Smutney does go down to Legends. Smutney playing super aggressive. Sibs falls as well. Legends putting out a ton of DPS. While his team picks up the last hits. Sheik falls as well. And this is just looking... Dominant. Ninja Zen with the double kill. Smutney. Pretty far ahead of the rest of his team here. On the con. Trying to make something happen. Sibs. Trying to sneak through church now. Oh, nice sustain being shown by Ninja Zen on the barrack here. Second team fight now well underway. 99% in favor of Vroom Vroom on this objective. Vivian pops the shield, goes down instantly, and she will die after she killed Legends as well. Whirlwind comes out from the side of Kraft. First time he's played in the PCL. Ninja Zen gets left lifted, but Anara goes down, and the point gets captured by Vroom Vroom. French squad showing... They do have an idea of how to play this game well enough to take down some pretty notable players over the course of history. Tyra being played by Valerian and Naiju on the high ground here. Sibs does end up falling to the barrage from Victor. Oh, and the crossfire and Dome Shield get popped. Oh, did get the stun off onto Ash, but he goes down as the crossfire was too much to handle. Meanwhile, Legends and Ninja Zen picking up a kill apiece as well. And this payload, minute and a half left, is looking like it might just go in with ease here. Victor gets picked up and stunned. Seems he did change. He is running Vortex Grip instead of Storm of Bullets, which we thought he was running at the beginning here. Ninja Zen and Valerian both fall for the side of Vroom Vroom. Meanwhile, Slaya did fall for GPS, but Sheik and Sibs able to hold off the Vroom Vroom tenacity. 
As the payload inches away from finishing off that push. We'll take a backwards motion now as GPS look to hold this defense. 50 seconds left. Holding off and waiting for the aggression. They do have overpower. As well as three other ultimates. Three ultimates for the side of Vroom Vroom as well. Ninja Zen, Smutney trying to get some damage onto each other. Ult comes out from Ash, but she gets walled off. Can't do any damage that way. Has to reload. Oh, and Ash is in a tough spot here. Can he get the kill? He will! The double kill! Nox Slayer off the map! Finishes off Sheik Naiju! Playing outstanding today, whether it's Khan or Ash. Now this payload through time and space comes through. Doesn't find anyone. Craft the ninja zen. Finding kills once more. And he's looking to set up for the boop. Oh, almost. But it's enough to finish the payload push as Vroom Vroom take a commanding 2-0 lead here in game three. Your Xbox European PCL offline games. Brought to you by Console Pro News. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter for all your updates. PCL, PML, PPL, SML, SCL, and SPL. That's right. We cover Smite and Paladins. You can follow us on Twitter at Console Pro News. You can also subscribe to the channel on YouTube. If you're already watching this on YouTube. You know where to find it. One. Right below the video. Going into this next round here. Five and one for Ninja Zen. Four and one for Naiju. Valerian, first time we've seen him go negative. Seismic Crash comes out. They're able to stun Naiju once again. That's a double stun onto him, but he survives it all. And they're able to find a kill onto Slaya and Smutney. Valerian with the double kill now. LZ Legends with a double kill of his own, picking up Sibs and Sheik. And the damage duo for the French squad find two apiece to give themselves what potentially could be their third point here. And it is, as they were able to zone them out for the quick few seconds it took. Oh, falling pretty low here. Niger's in his face again. Naiju playing this Ash spectacularly. Smutney throws out the overpower but misses. Mother's Grace comes out. I think that's a little too early because you know what might come here. There it is. And see you later, Slayer. And Vivian's going to get... Oh, nice lift from Lexi to keep the Vivian from getting stunned and most likely killed. But he does find Sibs with it. Oh, and this could smell danger. He's lining it up. He has to reload. Vivian goes back in there, though. Into her spawn. Smutney way out in front defending this payload all alone. Naiju does end up falling. Smutney falls as well, but this could mean some breathing room for the side of GPS here. Ninja Zen electing to back off. He's going to have to get some healing here. He does have a Grover, so he could get a lot of burst healing pretty fast. Slaya on this high ground again. I think that's the problem. They have Smutney playing mid with a Nar on the high ground. I think they need to sw switch those. Put the Khan up top. Barrage comes through. Finds one onto Sibs. Ash is getting ready for another boop. He is boxing this Anara in. And this looks like it'll be a kill at will. Kraft finds one onto Smutney. Vivian goes down from the hands of Valerian. 50 seconds remaining. Lexi sitting in spawn as that ends the game. 4-0 victory for the side of Vroom Vroom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's game four between GPS and Vroom Vroom. GPS losing game three, 4-0 to Vroom Vroom, who now lead the set 2-1. to one. This could be... Set point for them. They're able to take the win here on Ice Mines. 
Mother's Grace Inara for Slaya. Rampant Blooming Grover for Lexi Zen. Burst Mode Victor for Sibs. Catalyst Pip for Sheik. Hitting on Smutney. Interesting to see what he goes here with the Ash. We have Pick Luminary Genos for Craft. Five, Naiju on the four, Storm of Bullets, Khan. Opportunity and Chaos, one. Valerian. Let's go. For Vivian. Combustible Drogos for Legends this time. Not the Fusillade we've seen earlier. And Tinkering Bear for Ninja Zen. And it will be a Fortress Breaker for Smutney on the Ash. Here we are. Game four. Game four now. Barak and Inara. On the point, but not really paying attention to each other. Just kind of stalling each other's progress. And now Vroom Vroom, as Inara backs off, will start to take the lead in the percentage. Smutney trying to work this stage area. First blood coming out. Legend's able to find a kill onto Lexi. That's the support down for GPS. He goes down as well. But he trades out his life for another. Smutney used to be exact. Valerian playing well all day today. On the Vivian this time. And what a skin that is for that gun. The Omega Vivian skin. I love it. It's actually the one I use. It does say GPS captured, but that is a red capture for the side of Vroom Vroom. They will start off with the first payload push here on Ice Mines. Jorgos, not a super popular pick on this map most of the time. As of lately, though, a lot more picks. Jorgos picks, especially on the console side of things. Even with hit scans being so dominant in the console meta, Jorgos still finds some time to have success. Sibs will get grabbed by the overpower. Meanwhile, there was a polymorph. Naiju on that con once again. Whirlwind comes out. Here comes a dragon punch from Legends. He finds Slayer, the Inara, and he goes down for it. Trying to get away. Sheik did find him with the pip. But most of the kills go in favor of Vroom Vroom as they get this payload moving once again. And what a change of pace. We see players like Smutney, who are on Cyclone, been to land with a console team. He's been to land with a PC team as well. We see players like Lexi, been to numerous lands. Five, to be exact. Sometimes under a different name. But yet the French vroom 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 vroom. Able to show their poise and, and show how dominant they can be here. As the barrage comes out from Sibs, able to find one on a Valerian. Legends finds a double kill, however. And he's still moving around with this Drogos. Barrack's still alive. Drogos goes down. Ninja Zen, the only one alive. Left and kicking there. 15 seconds remaining. This looks like it could be a nice defense here for the side of GPS. Remember, they need this win. Try and force a game five. Drogos kind of peaks there for a second. Doesn't really get anything done with it. One to one. We're all tied up here. Early on in the damage charts. Valerian with that. Vivian. Right up there in front. Most impressive thing. Probably not as impressive since they have the Genos Luminary to boost them. But that Khan and Barrack, second and third place in the damage charts. Khan right there behind Vivian as well. It's not like he's too far behind. 1,400 behind to be exact. Barrack's right there in third. Drogos. Vroom Vroom. Top four in the damage charts. Looking Five. good. Only one who didn't make top five was, of course, the Genos. But his job's not to do damage. It's to boost damage. And that's exactly what he's been doing. Sheik 
playing the pip didn't really have to do that in the phase one for radiant he started off as a sub moved himself to main roster there's a reason for that he did show good promise and it looks like himself and gps will get a full team wipe here gain control of the objective ice mines very difficult map to get back from spawn once you start the once the zone starts against you See if they're able to break this zone not many teams are as successfully as you would think dragon punch is coming through wall went up already oh my barely missed that was about one inch away from getting that ash there. Tough break for Legends, but he stays alive. Whirlwind did come out already, so they don't have that. And now, Legends, Valeria, Naiju, all scraping up some kills. Now, as I, as I say, it's hard to break this zone. Well, they did it. They broke the GPS zone here on Ice Mines to capture the objective once again. Now they're on the payload push. Naiju working right next to the Drogos, doing it pretty well. Another Dragon Punch coming out. This one is just going to fly around. Noticed that he was one shot. Probably wasn't going to get a ton of work done. Did his best to try and stay alive. And he did. Valerian able to find Smutney on that kill though. That could smell trouble when your off tank dies. Especially on a map like Ice Mines. Sibs does have Barrage available. No one else on the team has all. Pip just used his and then died immediately. No one able to follow up on the polymorph after Pip dies as well. Valerian up in in the crow's nest. Firing away now. Slayer falling pretty low, but he's got two enemies right there in his sights. They're going to end up taking him down. Pip uses the potion. Oh, and barely escapes with his life as Valerian as the barrages were coming down on him. If they get another double, I'm dead. And a triple kill for Naiju. Man, oh man. Naiju and Valerian. Going absolutely insane. All set long. This looks like it might be a push here. As they are staggering out for the side of GPS. And going down just as quickly as they're coming out. And that is a successful payload push for the side of Vroom Vroom. As they are one point away from taking this set. And starting off phase two, one and zero. Now I say Naiju and Valerian doing a lot of work, but you have to give credit to Ninja Zen as well. Craft also and staying alive in key moments, getting out key heals. You have Ninja Zen who's making some good plays last game. Here he is again. Five. Able Four, to sustain himself three, on point, playing this two, barrack beautifully. One. And here we are. All right, well, we have just been told that they need to capture the objective to win. Didn't know that before. All my years as paladins. <laughs> and Smutney goes off the map. I don't know what that was. And it looks as if Slayer will go down as well. Ninja Legends in trouble. But GPS have to back up. They've got no front lines. And Sibs gets grabbed in the overpower. Khan does go down. They're still able to burn Sibs. Sheik did find a double kill. Speaking of double kills, Valerian's got one to his own name. And now Ash will slam down with the ult. The assert dominance on the objective. No one's even paying attention. They don't care. Because they burn him right afterwards. Now Grover used Whirlwind. Has nothing else to help him there. Sibs goes down just as fast as he gets dismounted. Now Slaya falling pretty low. Polymorph comes out. He's going to go down as well. And this looks like it's over 
for the side of GPS as Lexi gets insta-burned. Smutney gets lifted, body blocked with the charge, and he continues to get body blocked afterwards. Vroom Vroom, take the set over GPS 3-1 to one after winning 4-1 to one here on Ice Mines.